here with me. She is putting out a wonderful feast for us all. I want you to see what Baja Hospitality is all about, because that's what this is. This is why I've been coming back to your country my whole life, mm -hmm. over 50 years, because of this kind of stuff. You go out of your way. You work, do all this. You know, we kid around a lot, but seriously, this really means a lot to all of us, your mom and your aunt, everybody working to put this together. And this looks beautiful, Paulina. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You want to tell everybody what we have here so far? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. We have here mussels. They are uh, cooked with wine, with white wine, <laughs> with some cilantro. That looks and so good. salt and garlic and some other stuff. <laughs> Secret stuff. Looks so good. This is marlin. It's smoked marlin with some uh, cucumber, cilantro, tomato, onions, and a little bit of serrano. This is Yum. pretty good. You can eat it with a uh, tostada, and it's very good. Yep. Here it's called pate de marlin. Pate de yeah, marlin. Pate de marlin. Okay. Yes. This is tuna. We are slices. We are gonna make here sashimi. I'm preparing here the soy sauce and everything I'm gonna put on it. And here. We're making aguachile. Uh, here I have the sauce prepared. This sauce has lemon, uh, garlic, salt, uh, cilantro, and what else? What else? Oh, and half an avocado. So yeah, this is the secret sauce for the aguachile that I'm preparing. Here we have uh, cookies, crackers, and tostadas for everything. And yeah, this is what we have so far for this night. So everyone can come and get something here. My mom, my uncle, Foca, some friends. Are you going to introduce everybody at some point tonight? You yes, should, right? Yes, sure, but I'm giving the introduction. Oh, pardon me. Excuse of the me. food. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, so everyone can come here and eat. Here uh, with us is my mom, my aunt, some friends who went fishing today. They caught some bonitas and rockets here. And yeah, everyone's going to come here and eat with us. So you can also eat with us, cause, but the others are around, so you can taste it. But yeah, you can be here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I hope you get to feel. Do you have to run off and do something? If you do, don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. And I'll, I'll take it from here. And sure. if we get any questions over there, you can yell them out at me, Mackie, or just let us... No, I, I'll tell you what went on today in Ensenada yeah, in terms of fishing and get you caught up on that. We just finished up Tackle Shop Confessions with Sam De La Torre. He's in Island Fishing Tackle in beautiful Carson, California. And uh, we didn't delve into the fishing as much as I will right now. And, of course, Mackie and I are putting together a great video to show the great time we had with Louis Prieto at It's For Reels Sport Fishing. We had a great time. All right. When we left this morning, we were sky high because the yellowtail bite has been very slow here recently. And then all of a sudden yesterday, the stuff started to bite. So when we were rolling out, we were seeing birds within about 15 minutes of our departure. We were seeing the birds picking, the yellows up. They were showing themselves a little bit, and then they'd sink out right away. We'd run over there and throw iron, throw iron, throw iron, throw iron. Mackie was filming everything, getting some great footage and everything else. The only thing we didn't do is hook a yellow tail. And I'm not so sure anybody did, although we did hear rumors of one fish being caught, and maybe somebody out there will fill us in. Maybe Mara's or over there on Blackfin Sport Fishing. Maybe they came up with one. But for the most part, it was just all show and no go, as we like to call it. And you know that run and gun fishing. Run and gun fishing is when the boat speeds up to approach a big old foamer of yellowtail or birds picking, and then he shuts it down and you fire your jig out there. Run is the boat moving up. Gun is you throwing that jig, the fiero, the iron on those fish. And it's some of the most exciting fishing you could ever experience in your life. But they didn't want to bite today. In fact, it was pretty darn slow for just about everybody. So before long, everybody started to spread out. Some guys went back into the bay a little bit. Some guys started to circumnavigate Todo Santos Island. We went over there with Nacho Ignacio from Blackfin Sport Fishing, and we went round and round and round the island. And even though we saw some really good signal, a lot of birds working and a lot of great stuff, we never got it to bite in terms of any kind of a surface bite. We threw some Rapalas behind the boat, trolled those around for a little bit, trying to see if we couldn't get that going. And once again, that did not come together either. So we ended up moving into the beach in a secret spot that, Louis, don't worry, your secret is my secret. Anyway, 
uh, up in the bow. We had a guy up there fishing, and before you know it, he hooks a fish right away, and it's a sand bass, and it's a nice big sand bass, and there's about eight sand bass chasing it up, following the hooked fish up to the surface, which indicates volume of fish, and man, everybody got into it. We started catching all kinds of sand bass mixed with them. We're shallow water rockfish. We had an absolute ball. Oh my God, Paulina, that looks good. Thank you. Oh, what chilies look so good tonight. And uh, we had an absolute ball. And we brought some of that rockfish here tonight. I don't know if that's going to get covered or not. This is Paulina's mother. She is the best better, Nise, who is not only a wonderful person, but a great angler, a great fisher lady. So, Berenice, como siempre, es un placer de verte. Gracias por venir. Gracias por tenernos aquí. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, that is Paulina's mom, so you know where she gets her fishing jeans. Her jeans are full of, what are your jeans full of? Oh, your jeans are blue tonight. Yeah. No, I mean your genetics. Oh, that's what yeah. I'm talking about. Half my mom and half my dad, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, really, really good stuff. So, that's what our day was like. Now we find ourselves here at Botes Juanitos in Ensenada, and we're having a fiesta, and we thought we'd bring you along. You know, maybe we won't even be talking during some of this. We're just going to be munching out on some, that, that Marlene, I've got to have some of that. Of course, the bluefin, I can have, I can have the agua chilies. And when I say I can have it, in case some of you are not aware, I'm kind of carnivore. Sometimes I'll stray over into keto a little bit, but for the most part, um, all meat, but I'm going to make an exception tonight, and those muscles look so good. Paulina, are you going to start eating? Yeah. Oh, me you too? You talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a question over there? No, or you would have said something. I know that. All right, are you going to eat? You want to come over here and eat something? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have something, too. This looks so delicioso. Thank you. Gracias. Mm. Oh, my God. How is it? Mm. Mm -mm. I want to say. I love this. <laughs> All right, maybe you, well, no, I'm going to let you eat. I was going to have you introduce everybody. I, I will. Whenever you're ready. Oh, baby. I'm going to leave it up. Aw. Let's see. I hope no one's mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God. Those are great. Mm-hmm. Where'd you get the muscles? You went down on the rocks down there and got them? I have to do something. Oh, hey, it's Mikey. Mm. Mikey who? SD Fishing Sips. No way. Yes way. Mikey, oh. what's up, my man? How are you? Do you know Mikey from SD Fishing Chips? Nope. Sips? He's a great guy. Super great guy. Hey, Mikey. Mikey, it's good to see you. I wish you were here, man. We're having a feast down here with everybody. Mm. Beautiful is another. Doug has a question. He's asking, what does it cost to take out a boat fishing for tuna down there? All right, Doug wants to know. I'm going to turn it over to you and not let you eat right now. <laughs> What's it cost to go with Foca on his boat to go tuna fishing? And Doug is out there. You can look him straight oh, yeah. in the eye. Uh, I think it's a thousand dollars to go uh, offshore fishing. It's six to seven hours. It depends, but yeah, you use the whole day. How many people? Uh, four to five. No, four to six. Four to six people, yes. so pretty. Yeah, it's you know, pretty affordable. I mean, if you divide everything into one, yeah. Yeah, all right. There you have it. Was that Doug? Did you say? Yeah. All uh, right, Doug. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Uh, Mikey also said, uh, I missed this. Uh, he's headed down there tomorrow on the solo skip to chase down yellowtail. In Ensenada? Uh, yeah. Where will we be? Evening surf fishing, or where's our evening surf fishing session? Where is it? It's right here, right by the Hotel Corral? Next to the place is called Quintas Papagayo, and it's near, I mean, aside from Coral Marina Hotel. You gotta come join us, Mikey. Um, mm -hmm. Just text me, or, um, you know, reach out to me on Messenger, or somehow Mackie will maybe get with you, and we'd love to have you come mm -hmm. and, and uh, fish with us. It would be fantastic. Maybe we'll save Mikey some leftovers here from this. Yeah, some plates maybe. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Mikey, thank you. Mmm, but Marlon is so good. Mm -hmm. Alan R says, looks so tasty. I'm sure you're gonna bring home some doggy bags to share with us. <laughs> Alan R says, he wants a doggy bag when I go back home. Can I take one? Yeah, but without food. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can bring you an empty bag, Alan. <laughs> Thanks to Paulina. That's all I could do. <laughs> Dude, this is like coming. Are you? Mm. I haven't been fed in like two days with Phil. <laughs> well, I don't feed him. It's mm. not in the job description. He just locks me in the trunk and then I come out when we need to film. Yeah, I'm, sometimes I don't let yeah. him out. I heard it. Well, look, he left his phone. And then some other thing that he forgot. You think I should feed him? I mean, it's his first time in Mexico. He's nervous, maybe. Yeah. Are you nervous? No. So how was your first time in Mexico? And people probably can't hear you Thank unless you, you get... Thank you. you want to get close to Pauline or me? I don't know. Get close to somebody. I'll, get, I'll talk to All you. All right. How was it? It's good. It's safe. It's fine. <laughs> All right. There you are. It is safe. Mm-hmm. So, Paulina, risk assessment. When you do risk assessment, too many people ask this question. Can a bad thing happen to me? That's not how you do risk assessment. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. a bad thing can happen to you Everywhere. anywhere. Yep. The question is, what are the chances a bad thing will happen to me? And if you look at tourists that come to Mexico, no. you got more problems going to Chicago than you got going to <laughs> yeah. Ensenada. Yeah. I mean, a lot of shootings are, we hear here about in the U.S., so, I mean, you can be in some places with trouble everywhere, anywhere. But yeah, I mean, you should be only at the right places, right? You know, I got a question for you. I wonder if this is true. Do Mexican parents, like, in Mexico City, their daughter says, hey, mom, I'm going to Chicago, and they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's dangerous there. I no. wonder. No, I they well, don't. I mean, okay. Because, I mean, there, there's, it seems like you hear a lot about the shootings in <laughs> our big cities in the United States. Mm -hmm. and well, those are the things that you hear in the news. Hey, are you going to introduce Roca? Come on, get busy here. Do some work. Quit just eating. I could. And introduce your aunt. Here's my aunt who helped cooking as well. Mm, he, she's the best. <laughs> and here is Foca, or Captain. You Foca! Remember? So, yeah. Una brasa, un grupo, a group of brasa, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, we need Mackie in here next. <laughs> oh, my God, I think I got some marlin in your hair. I'm sorry ne about next that. Next to the crap. <laughs> and who is this lovely lady? Hi, Bon. Ah. Bon. She she went fishing today yes. and she caught bonitas and rockets. Oh, excellent! Very good. Oh, oh linka, don't leave that out. What's wrong with you? She, she didn't tell me before about mm. the linka. Was it big? Mm. And that's your husband? Yeah. yeah. Come over. We want to introduce you, my friend. <laughs> Make you a star. Nice to see you. Yeah. Mucho gusto, señor. His name is Felipe. The same. Felipe. Man. Yeah. Tocayo. Woo! Tocayo, yeah. Well, we have two types of Felipe here. <laughs> yeah. One good one and one bad one. Is that what you're saying? No, one bold and one Korean. Un <laughs> pelon, huh? <laughs> All right, very good. Yeah. So, yeah, they went fishing together. So, as I said before, they caught Bonita, Rockot, and Lincoln. And they are sharing his Rockot with us. Gracias, Felipe. Yeah. Y ¿Cómo se llama? Yvonne. 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 Mucho gusto. Gracias. Gracias. Gracias a ustedes. All right. What a show. I'm telling you. Can I sit down for a second? Yeah. My back's going. I know. We're all, you are all. No. My front is not too good either. <laughs> we tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting old. Labworks says, come bring on the yellowtail. Labworks is in Australia wow. watching you right now. Hey. Wow. Hello. It Eat is your agua chili. Ah. Mm. How is it? Mm. Everything is so good. Mm. No me quedo tan picoso, ¿verdad? Mucho. Muchísimo. Yo agua chile. Doug Rubin, can you take us on the taco tour? Mm. We don't have a taco tour tonight, but we might be able to do that. Can we do that? Do we have time? What are you talking about? What's the taco tour? I'm guessing he wants to see taco stands in town. Um, sure. We can do that tomorrow. Yeah, we Surface. might be able to do that after after we go surf fishing. What are we doing tomorrow? We're going... What time are we started? We need to check the weather, the wind, <laughs> the waves. We're not flying a plane. We're just going surf fishing. What you you never know what can happen. All right, the high tide <laughs> is like at 7 tomorrow night. So sundown is going to be good. So 
If you really wanted to fish a good time, I would say like four o'clock till sundown. Okay. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, sure. Then you're picking the place. This better be good. Remember, I'm a beginner. Well, I just need a place where we're going to catch some surfish so I can get a good video. Yeah, sure. Well, you're really? going to be in it, so it's going to be Everyone absolutely will be terrible. There. Anyway. Everyone is going to be surf fishing. Marcus, my aunt Norma, my oh, mom. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's okay. I'm also beginning. There's a ton of people watching this right now. They're watching us eat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where are we? Uh, Labworks, Doug Rubin. Uh, and six, you had a lot of halibut there at uh, Quintos Papagayo. Mm -hmm. Is that where we're fishing? Yeah. You know what? I've heard the same thing. Uh, good luck. Uh, use white split tails with a quarter ounce lead head. Get a big one. There you are. Does okay. this guy, your tackle store guy, have yep, that? Yeah, they have it. Okay. Hey, thank you. Gosh darn, we've got great viewers who know. They know more than me all the time. It makes me want to cry. But don't cry. <laughs> Labworks in Australia says just look for the gutters. I didn't hear. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't know if I understand it. I'm tired, though, lab work, so he said just look for the gutters. For the fish, I guess. <laughs> yes, perfect. All right, um, hit that like button, everybody. We'll stay with you a little bit longer as long as this party rages on. I hope and pray that there's not tequila involved tonight because the last time Paulina got into the tequila, well, let's just put it this way, it was not pretty. It was not a pretty sight. Hey. When you jumped into the water, and I had to jump in and rescue you, that was, you know, not well, good. Well, part of the fun. That's tequila fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tomorrow we're surf fishing. That should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. And what else? Uh, so does that sound good for, I yeah. mean, I'd like to, I don't know what else we can do. I gotta, uh, this is something else. Should I say it on camera? Just, yeah, why not, right? Just have a conversation. I got to find a Catholic church or I have a tr car full of women's clothing. Okay. And so maybe the Catholic church or do you have, do you know of some place where we could drop that off? You yeah, do? Yeah, there's a place, yeah. Perfect. Okay. And, and people that have a need? Yeah, sure. You'll help me find that? Yes. Okay. I will ask the address tonight. You yeah. are number one. I really don't care what Marcus says about you anymore. Hey. I don't say anything anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're eating and no. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, Labworks. I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. Labworks says, look for the, he's right, the gutters on the edge of breaks, and mm. you find fish in those zones. So thank you very much. He is in Australia. He has invited me to go, and I'll get you an invite. Sure. In fact, I'll probably get bumped out of it, and you'll end up going. Yeah, I have but, friends in New Zealand, actually, that they fish and have boats, so we can... This guy catches yellowtail, little different species, mm -hmm. up to 100 pounds off the rocks. What? Yeah. Look out there and tell him you want to go when we go. What? <laughs> hey, that, that'll be fun. Hey, this chair under me feels like it's going to explode. If I end up falling, are you going to film that? Come up with a close-up? Perfect. Yeah, it's going to be live. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> All right, uh, Steve Duncan says, let's party. All right, N6UN says, a lot of small rocks in the water, so fish above the rocks or else you'll snag and lose your lure and weights. Hey, um, is there any bar perch there? I see a beach. I saw a beach when we drove by there today. Is there any bar perch there? I want to catch some bar perch tomorrow, so let me know about that. Um, saltwater serial killer. Any open party type trips, what? Spots down there are looking good for fishing off the rocks for yellows or tuna. And uh, is any tackle and bait recommendations same as if I were fishing Catalina or uh, Santa Barbara? So do you know what an open party boat is? An open, yeah, you do, right? Do they have those no. here? Nobody does? Sergio? No. Nobody. No, right? I don't know if he does. Uh, barcos de gente como colectivo para ir a pescar. Sí, Sergio. Sí. Sergio. Sí, ah. Oh, okay. Cazador. Yeah. Coco loco. Okay. Todos los días o los fines Ahorita, de semana. Fin de semana. Fin de semana. Ah. So on the weekends, you can get uh, Sergio. Uh, what is it? Ensenada. 
Sergio's. Sergio sport fishing in Ensenada. Sergio Susuray, I've known him for 40 years, so you can definitely, every time we walk by there, I walk by with Paulina, um, I try to say hi, but he's always busy, and I'm always like, gosh darn it, Sergio's busy again, so I'll go by there and say hello very, very soon. Um, P.S., you guys are making me really hungry. <laughs> We're trying. That is saltwater cereal, cereal kill. Lab works. Phil, I will be finishing your yellowtail rod this weekend for when you visit. He's making me a yellowtail rod. Ah, uh, that's cool. Paulina, I, one. I have friends in New Zealand as well, says Labworks. Oh, we should go. Absolutely. SD Fish and Sips Legend says AJ. Mikey is the best. We love Mikey. A lot of people watching this show right now. Great to have you all with us. Hit the like button. We'll keep you here just a little bit longer because um, I really got to get some sleep. That's yeah, one reason. Right. What do you mean you know? Hey, where do you get these mussels? At the fish market right here? No, or? I went diving in the morning. No, you didn't. Yeah. No, you didn't. <laughs> a garlic, <Wow>. garlic glove. <laughs> Live <Sorry>. TV! <laughs> Paulina spinning uh, out the garlic clove. You, I, I love garlic cloves. I don't. <laughs> Why are you hiding over there? No one can see. Yeah, that's better. I'm glad we had her mic'd up for that choking sound. That was beautiful. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love it. Uh, having a great time here in beautiful Ensenada. Hey, um, Marcus, do you think? Would you mind? I know you're enjoying the fiesta. Would you mind just kind of panning out at the Malicom for one moment? The flag? Uh, you, you, you know what? Every uh, I say every like three minutes, he's getting sick of it. I go, look at that flag. I love that flag. I love the flag. It's just beautiful. Uh, big, huge Mexican flag here. But Marcus, um, I'm going to walk out with Marcus and then leave Pauline alone. Remember, we can hear you. No, we're... Oh, you're, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> we can hear everything you're saying, so don't say I'm stupid or anything until no, I you take, know your, that. <laughs> take your mic away. <laughs> come on, let's go out here for a second. Paulina, do you want to come or do you want to stay here? I want to eat. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Thank I you. I don't blame her. All right. Yes. I'm writing. Oh, okay. I'm coming out. And the Malicon here in beautiful Ensenada. First of all, I'll show you down this way, and uh, we can see the docks. Focus boat is down there somewhere. Um, and this is Botes Juanitos. You can see their logo up here. So if you're ever walking by here, you'll be able to find it. And just come in and say hi. They're wonderful people, and you'll have a lot of fun. And I'll just show you out here because Paulina seriously wants to eat. Oh, this might require me to figure out how to open. What the hell? <laughs> what is it? Hold on. What? <laughs> what is it? Oh, I got to take the. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm a little mechanically challenged on most things. So here we are at the Mally Cone, people walking by. Look at these lovely people right here. Hola. Look at these kids and everybody. Como están ustedes? Estamos en vivo ahora. Gracias. Muy buenas noches. Gracias. So beautiful families, wonderful people. We come out here. And Marcus insists that we show you the Mexican flag and Plaza Bandera, which is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, it's kind of quiet out here tonight, a little bit, but uh, you can still see some people walking by. Every once in a while, you'll see kids walk by. Um, do you think we'll lose the signal if we walk over here a little further? We will. Marcus is shaking his head yes. So just a beautiful vibe here. Well, as I say, families walking by, as you could see there. Uh, people are buying all kinds of great stuff to eat. There's all kinds of different restaurants here. Uh, there's whale watching. When you come down here to the Malecon, there's, a, you know, if you're into a booze cruise, they've got that full rack going on. Here they got fishing, whale watching, as I mentioned, port, uh, harbor cruises. There's a lot of great stuff. All right, uh, I think we're going to get ready to almost say goodbye, but we'll go back in one more time. Uh, thank you, Marcus. What a gentleman. And... I think we're going to say goodbye almost. I know you're going to be heartbroken. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Do we have any more questions on there? Or have you seen it? Oh, we do have more questions. I'll run over there and grab a question or two. Excuse me, Foca. Perdón. Gracias. Let me read a couple more questions. Oh, my back. Can you walk on my back tonight? Oh. 
Hell yeah, no, nah, forget it. I know. <laughs> I'll be in whatever Ensenada General Hospital. <laughs> All right. Um, N6 win. Not many surf perch in the Bay of Ensenada. I've only caught one in 20 years. I want to catch barb perch. Mm -mm. Him and I are going in the early morning then. Mm. Oh, you're working, right? Yeah, you can't go in the early morning. What time is early morning for you? 530. Mm -hmm. You can go? Yep. Until what time? 8.30, 9. Maybe we'll go down to Playa Saldamando. Uh, we might go down to Playa Saldamando. I've seen big barb perch caught there. So he's only seen one in 20 years. Yellow fin croaker, spot fin croaker, corvina, guitar fish, and halibut. Good luck. Those are all cool fish. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Spot fin croaker, I'm in. And I've got some ghost shrimp I brought down, courtesy of Big Fish Bait and Tackle in the beautiful city of Seal Beach, California, right on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. You should visit really, really soon. Uh, Labworks, Paulina, New Zealand for snapper fishing. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You're into that? Yes. She's got a mouthful of something, so yeah, she can't right. answer. I have seen photos of those are very big and fat. <laughs> All right, AJ says, um, making me want to get out there tomorrow morning, too. All I have is surf fishing gear. Picking up the setup this weekend at the swap meet, and I'll be out next week for sure, God willing. Hey, AJ, that would be great, right? Yeah. You you like the fact that you, well, for example, tomorrow you're working. Mm -hmm. But you could go in the morning, really, yeah. you know, for a it's quick. Early morning, yes. Yeah. Boy, I'm sorry I said that now, because now I think I have to get up really early tomorrow. I was going to sleep in. <laughs> and no, you can rest. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll talk about it. Because okay. I really want to, maybe we'll go down to Playa Saldamondo. But it's kind of far for the time that we have. Maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. possibly. I talked to George Saldamano mm -hmm. and he said, go, you know. I was there once and the freaking perch are like that big. I know exactly where we caught them too. So, I mean, I'd like to do that. Rocket Dog says, nice. I got to get down there to sure. Ensenada. We're changing minds. Yes. Come we? and fish with us. Yes, you've met a lot of nice people, right? Yes. In my group? Yes. Who would you say is a nice person that you've met? Mm. That's it, huh? Sam. Sam um, De La Torre. Yes, yeah, Sam De La Torre. Uh, Greg. Bob. Greg, Bob. Bob, yes. Marcus. I have to say it because he's here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, you should come and fish with us. You left me out. With us? Yeah, but you didn't mention me as being a nice person. You think you are? No, I don't know. That's why. <laughs> N6UN says, does, does bloodworms are excellent for this time of the year? So did, did we get any bloodworms when we were there? I no, looked we at them. Okay, well, we got something, but we don't have that. Uh, Labworks says, I will come testing rods in Mexico, lab works. That would be great, man. No, we'll yeah, bring we'll you down here and show you the ropes. That would be fantastic. Oh. Ralph says hello. Lots of people <laughs> watching. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Should we sign off? What are you thinking, Marcus? Uh oh, there is tequila involved tonight. I think. I'm, oh no, it's a bottle of water. She's drinking water. Mm -hmm. I thought there was a bottle of tequila. Uh, Labrick says he used to fish in Cabo San Lucas all the time. You me in it. So that's a great place to fish. Pauline, have you ever fished in Cabo San Lucas? Yes, I love there. You do? Yeah, there's where I caught my first marlin, a strip, a striped marlin. Yep. And it was 80 pounds. That's a good one. 80 pounds? Yeah, that's about right. I mean, no, 80 that's a kilos. Small... 80 kilos. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Man. So like 170 yeah, something. pounds. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I went fishing with my friend Arturo, the one that I told you yesterday yeah. uh, that has boats in there for sports yes. fishing. You want to go fish to Cabo, you can contact him or Facebook, Instagram. The name is Tag Cabo, T A G Cabo. He has pretty good people working with him, and you have fun every time you go there. Tag Cabo. If you get Paulina's recommendation, take it to the bank. Bounce. You can uh, definitely do that. Uh, AJ says, I live in Tijuana and normally surf fish Rosarito, Mar y Sol, or Punta Bandera. Uh, lots of surf perch, a halibut, guitar fish, and a few yellowfin croaker. Um, Ono Real lures have been good for the surf. Man, I'm getting all jazzed about the surf. 
Actually, this place, according to N6 Nguyen, I'm talking to Mac, hey, everybody, sounds pretty, I love catching spot fin croaker. So, yeah, that sounds good. Maybe we'll hit that in the morning, Paulina. Sure. And check it out. And then if it's lame, then we might go somewhere else in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. We can do that, right? We'll figure it out. All right, Labworks, uh, 60 kg, Stripe Marlin on a 15-pound weight SV fly rod in Cabo. Woo! That's pretty darn good catching a striper on a fly fishing rod. That is cool stuff. My buddy Nick Curcion, Labworks, I'd be amazed if you knew who Nick Curcion, but he wrote a ton of fly fishing books. He's a good friend of mine. He must be, I don't know, 78 years old. Maybe 80. Nick's getting up there. I saw him not too long ago, but Nick was uh, an outstanding outdoor writer for many, many years. And he wrote a lot of fly fishing books, especially the saltwater stuff. If you knew him, I'd be amazed. He was actually my college professor at Loyola Marymount University. And when I walked in there, he was talking to some guy about fishing. And I'm like, whoa, boy, I'm in the right class. So needless to say, it's one of the few classes I got an A in at Loyola Marymount University. Uh, I did really, really well, uh, making sure Nick had plenty of gear anytime he needed it. All right, um, what do you think? Are we good? I guess we're good. We're going to enjoy ourselves here in beautiful Ensenada. I can't thank you enough, everybody, for joining us. I'll get Paulina to come over and say goodbye to you in a second. But, uh-oh, we got another question. I'm cooking still. I'm I know, making you, more <laughs> so shrimps. You, it's not time to say goodbye yet. Oh, okay. I'll call you in a second, though. <laughs> I'll let you work. Um, William says... I fished Cabazon at Popotla off the rocks, did real well on the blue meat fish on ghost shrimp. Woo! I know where Popotla is too. I fished right down from there. William, I know exactly what you're talking about. And we fished like, I mean, these rollers, the waves that were coming in were humongous. And we still scratched out some good Cabazon fishing. So I know exactly what you're talking about. N6, Nguyen, I will text you my secret spot that everybody knows about. I will keep your secret spot that everybody knows about a secret. I guarantee you that. So, hey, that'll be great. Yeah, any intel we can get to make this a successful show with Paulina tomorrow will be absolutely fantastic. So, once again, slow yellowtail fishing here in Ensenada today. Yesterday it was really, really good. Hopefully tomorrow we'll bring more fish. We have absolutely gorgeous weather. No wind here. The day that we arrived, which was Monday, I believe, um, it was really, really, really windy here. And that wind is out of the picture right now. Uh, Honor, Honor Real Lures, uh, they go for like seven bucks a piece locally. Blue with pink belly is Heard Estero Beach is good for halibuts and rays. Yeah, Estero Beach is another good place to fish. Have you heard of Estero Beach is good? Yes, I hear. I haven't uh, go there yet, but I know people say that's very good for fishing there. Yeah. fishing. Yeah, that's another good place. A friend of mine, Steve Bermudas, loves to fish uh, in that zone, so he does really, really well. More food? Yes. People's oh, hungry. You are going to make somebody such a great wife someday. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah? What's so funny? Nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm being serious about that. Oh, my God, right? I make, I make you happy so I can make everyone happy. That's true, yes. I had a full head of hair when I met you. And now yeah, I, yeah, and now I get it. Yeah. But that's why it's so long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, why don't we say goodbye, Paulina. Thank you for the Baja hospitality. Sure. Thank you for your friendship. I should stand up so I can give you a hug. Yeah. Thanks for everything, kid. Happy to meet you. I have you here as a friend. Thank with you me. so much. I appreciate it. And say goodbye to all your fans out there because you have a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching us. Hope to see you soon, either by YouTube or in person here in San Diego because I'm planning something with Philip for May, something like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. So see you there. So when I want to go, uh, Philip will give you the information later. And thanks for joining us and have a good night. One more thing. You got to say, send Michael Limon and Bella, the little girl, yep. who's a sweetheart. Yes. They want, they're, they're watching. They love you very, very yeah, much. Yeah, sure. Hey, Michael Limon, hope to meet you soon. A big hug for you. And Bella, hope to meet you next time. I'm going to be down there so we can talk about fishes. Because guess what? My first fish when I was a kid was also a uh, white sea bass. So I'm happy that you caught one. All right. Thank you so much, Paulina. Thank you all very, very much here at Botes Juanitos in beautiful Ensenada, Baja, California. 
Remember, you can reach out to Paulina at Paulina Fishing Life yes. on Facebook. Message her anytime you want to go fishing with Foca out here, who's an exceptional captain. You can message her about that or anything else that you want to. Yeah, or any question you have about Ensenada or about sport fishing here in Ensenada, you can text me, message me, and I can help you with all my heart because I want you to come here to Mexico and visit us in Ensenada. Beautifully well put. Yes. Love it. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Freeman Adventures YouTube yeah. channel. Thank you. Good night.